All right, so before we get started, let's have a brief um, in a brief introduction or a brief background of our data set that we are going to work on, all right? So before we start building any model or um, loading this, this kind of a data set, let's have a brief background or introduction of this data set. So as I mentioned earlier on, this data set is actually hosted on the UCI machine learning repository. All right, so if you go to UCI machine learning repository and search for the breast cancer risk concern data set, you will find it over there. Alternatively, you can also find it on Cargo, all right, on the Cargo platform. If you go there and you search for Wisconsin breast cancer data set, you can actually get it. I mean, you can get this .csv file of it, all right, and you can download and start working on it. All right, so um, it was actually put together and made, I mean, donated somewhere in 1992. All right, and um, it was created by Dr. William H. Warbeck, who I mean is a physician I mean, in the University of Wisconsin, um, uh, University of Wisconsin Hospital in the United States. All right, so these were some of the clinical cases that um, he used to work on, and uh, he used to put them together as the instances happen. All right, so if you can see in January 1989, there were around. Um, 367 instances and uh, i mean in october 1989 there were about 70 instances so you keep on putting these instances together i mean in the form of um in the form of a data set and in somewhere in 15th july 1992 he donated um this kind of a data set and made made it public and we started working on it all right so um these are some of the attributes that you can find. These are some of the attributes that you can find in the data set. I mean, sample code number, which is just an ID, all right, in the data set, we will get to see that. And then something called a clamp thickness, which was measured on a scale of one to 10, and uh, uniform, uniformity of cell size on a scale of one to 10, uniformity of cell shape on a scale of one to 10, uh, marginal adhesion on a scale of one to 10, all the way to um, say mitosis on a scale of one to 10, and then class, which will be our target variable or our target column. All right, in this, in this, in this class, you can see that two was used to represent um, benign, all right, and then four for malignant. All right, so if you see any two at this column, I mean, in this column class, then it will represent benign. If you see four, it will represent uh, malignant, all right? So talking of benign and then um, uh, malignant, we're talking of benign and then uh, malignant, if we see that a cell is benign, right, it means that it's not cancerous, right, it's not prone to cancer. But if we see that a cell is malignant, then it is prone to cancer, right? It's a cancerous cell. Okay, so what I mean, Dr. William is trying to do here is to, I mean, trying to classify these cells into benign, which is, I mean, non cancerous cells, and then, I mean, malignant, all right, cancerous cells. So if you can, if you can think about this, this problem, it's more like, um, it's more like A or B, right? Either benign or malignant, all right? So that's why we say it's a classification problem. And for classification problems, we use some um, classification algorithms. And the uh, most popular algorithm that we're going to use in this project is um, support a vector machine, and then the k nearest, I mean the k nearest neighbor algorithm. All right, which we will be using for the classification algorithm. All right, for um, support vector machine, which will help us to actually find a linear separation between um, these two groups. All right, which is benign and then malignant, and also for um, k nearest neighbor, which will help us to um, find the closest. Um, cells which are closer to each other and then classify them into benign and then malignant all right so we will be using these two algorithms for this classification problem so as the problem is given you first identify what kind of problem is it is it um, a regression problem is it a clustering problem or is it um, classification problem and in this case you can see that we want to classify the cell is to either benign or malignant it's a classification problem, so we're using the classification algorithm, I mean, I mean, two of them, and then measure their score and then see which one is doing better. All right, so um, 
I mean in the in the in the in the normal human body all right we have we have several cells all right it's, our body is composed of several cells I mean about 100 trillion cells within it and usually those cells behave in a certain way all right however I mean like they have a certain way of behaving but some I mean occasionally one of one of these hundred trillion cells behave in a different way and it keeps dividing and pushing um, the other cells around it out of the way right that cell stops observing the rules of the tissue within which it is located and uh, begins to move out of its normal position and starts invading into the tissues around it and uh, sometimes even entering into the bloodstream okay so as we grow older right throughout our lifetime we go through this kind of situation where a particular kind of gene is uh, mutated where the protein that it makes is abnormal and drives the cell to behave in a different way that we call cancer all right so we're trying to see um what are this kind of a malfunctioning of a cell um if we, if if we build an algorithm and uh we see any cell can we classify that cell as benign or i mean not cancerous or malignant that is prone to cancer all right that's what um um, this physician, Dr. William, is trying to do. But as data scientists, we can actually build an algorithm which in future they can even use without ma manually um, trying to figure out all of these. Okay? And that is what we are going to do. So let's, let's, let's go to our Jupyter Notebook and then get started.